you gotta pull the tune out of the truck. It's good, folks. You already come over here looking at me, sure that I got the truck up and the right position. But you're about to ask me. I'm about to do something with this. Let me get my impact and then get right back. All right, so yeah, you're probably asking me, why am I taking the wheels off? This shit gotta go. This. Oh, this gotta go. Yeah, because I can't stop this thing. This thing acts like it wanna stop, but it doesn't. So, I'm about to show you what we got, what we're gonna do, how we're gonna do it, and get it done. All right, now I can actually show you what we're doing today. All right, so I've been waiting freaking seven months for some rotors. I don't know how many people wait seven months for some rotors, but the truck been waiting seven months for some rotor. So it came in Thursday. And I said I was gonna wait until next week to do this because I might have something else to do to the truck. But couldn't wait. But got the six pots from uh oh, let me get some else on. There we go. I got the six pots from a C601. These are truck rotors. They come on the um what do they come on? I think they come on the Escalate V. And then we got the CTSV brake swap bracket kit. Cause you're gonna have to, you're gonna see, we're gonna have to cut up some of the rotors a little bit, not too much, but enough. Uh, some cheap pads just to put on, get the truck going so I can have some better um, rotors and brakes or whatever. You know, I'm just talking right now. <laughs> we was up all last night, so I'm just trying to get all this done and get this thing stopping a whole lot better. But uh oh, knocking my lug nuts around. But like I said, we're about to get this done and I'm gonna show y'all some of the stuff that happens whenever you do this. This is my first time, so we're gonna run into some hiccups. But here we go. So, just an update. Beltec, um, their basic coilover. These have a bushing in it, these stock upper control arms. I gotta get rid of these cause they still not giving me enough angle and I've been wearing through tires as you can see right there. So I'm hopefully I can swap these out really soon so I can stop going through tires. That's why I'm buying cheap tires. Boom, boom, that. Um, there's really thick sway bar and Ryan over there walking away. Let me put this in real fast y'all. Hold on, let me pause it. All right, so coilovers, bushings, and upper control arm, thick, meaty sway bar. And then we put the speed engineering headers on, and it goes to a true X pipe instead of that stupid Y pipe. Comes down to these mufflers, which I need to figure out right here because I've been wondering where I've been getting this vibration from, and I found it out. So I think I'm gonna have to have something put right here so I can hold, so it will hold itself up like the stock is off wood and stop sitting on my body. Cause it's even sitting on the body right there and I didn't realize that either. Cause my armrest shakes, everything shakes. So I'll get that figured out one day. It ain't too bad for me. I don't really mind it. It's been doing it for so long. And this is their rear shocks with their it's a three inch drop up front and three inch drop right here. I need to put my spare tire back on. And yeah, that's really, other than the cold air intake up top and Pat G tune, that's really all that's done to this thing. But let's get to talking about those calipers and what I gotta do. So since this is meant to fit a car, 
the problem with doing these calipers with this bracket is this right here okay I'm sorry y'all right here so this right here and that right here on both calipers you have to knock that out because this bracket it rides right on top of that so I would never be able to fully flush mount this so you got to cut that and also at the same time somewhere over here on the bleeder you have to cut that as well so that's what I'm finna sit here and do I'm finna trace this and to kind of cut what I need to cut and oh I, I lied I don't know why I pointed towards that the bleeder or the brake line holes right here you have to um, knock some of this out or some of this out. so I'm gonna look at the instructions why, which is why I can't record and hold this at the same time but yeah so I'm gonna look at that and we're gonna go from there Bro, this caliper looks different from the one that they got displayed. Said what? I said this one looks different from the one that they got displayed on the on the instructions. The caliper. Cause look, you see like the holes. Or maybe that's because they cut that part. Yeah. But oh uh, look, look at this. So, okay, so you see right here, they cut into it a little bit more, like right here. If you help me, I won't be so fucking pissed off.
where I want to go with that angle grinder down there. So now I'm just going to try to use this Dremel to see if I can knock out the last remaining parts to make it flat right here. And then we'll see how this goes. If not, we got the bench grinder way down there and we'll use that. obviously tell this is my first one so this is like this side was a lot better with the bench grinder this one not so much just because of the angle but you can obviously tell that after my second try I did so much better so 
I'm probably going to hit this right here with the grinder, uh, with the um, Dremel, I'm sorry, and try to get that a little bit more smoother. But I did a pretty good job for my first time. Uh, so maybe I'll do this more often when, if other people want to do it. But yeah. All right. So I've been cutting at this thing for the longest. Man, like this is really the look of defeat. Like I'm just about ready to quit. Like, oh man. That's why I don't understand how fabricators can do this, create something out of nothing, and on and off and on and off and on and off to check fit. I don't know how they do this, but uh, I gotta get this done. I gotta get these six spots on. But yeah, let me keep grinding away, literally. So get back with y'all here in a minute. Thank you.